Hey guys, what is up? It's AJ from Brock's Table here, and today we have a new video, and we're starting a career mode. I wonder what team we're doing it with. Shocker. I know, I was down to two teams, it was in between the, I was in between the Islanders and the Ducks. Ducks would have been cool with Zegris, Drysdale, Zellweger, and a few other good prospects, but the Islanders have an interesting team right now. We'll make our name Brock, for Brock with Stable. The Islanders have Barzal, Dobson, and Sorokin, three very, very, very good young players. So we have a decent core to build with, and we have a bunch of older contracts we really won't be trading. A few goals I'm going to set out for myself is to not trade Josh Bailey, let him retire an Islander, not trade Pajot, even though that contract's a little iffy. I think he's going to have a bounce back here in real life. We're going to keep all the contracts we have, and we're going to have to deal with it, as we will. So we'll pick the Islanders. Um, so there's going to be no cap dumping, unless, like, we give up, you know, a first-round pick or something that's viable, no player morale, Fogabor will keep on for now, we'll take off head coach at it lines. Yeah, so we're going to, year one, really not going to do too much, we're going to let the team play it out. If we're good, we'll make trades, if we're not, we'll also make trades, I guess, but if we're good, we'll add, if we're not, we'll subtract. Like I said, I think the only guy we can really get rid of is Varlamov. Uh, in the deadline. Trade difficulty is on hard. But yeah, we're going to basically be growing around Noah Dobson on the back end, Barzal with the forward core, and then you have Sorokin. So Barzal's new contract is in the game. I already had a, I already recorded this once and wasn't sure. So I do know it's now in the game. So. <laughs> More money, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Don't have to worry about bringing him back. Keep the cap on, and we're good to go here. So we'll go through the lines. We'll do preseason. We'll go through the AHL team as well. I know we have two good prospects in Atu Ratu and William Dufour, who I do like a lot in real life. And I guess Simon Holmes from I don't know how well he'll grow in the NHL simulation, but we can see. Yes, yeah, so this is going to be a series. Uh, we'll do a few months per episode. Starting off, we're just going to do the preseason and go through the lines, NHL rosters, whatnot, all the rosters. Uh, we're not going to sign any free agents that are left over. Like, I think... I'd assume P.K. Subban, Andy Green, who just retired today. Um, shout out Andy Green, what a career. Played here for a few years. Chara still might be in it. Oh, let's look at the free agents real quick. We're not signing anyone, though. I'm um, trying to think what other names could be out there. I assume they'd add Derek Broussard to Ottawa already. If not, it is what it is. Oh. Is he a... He's an RFA. Okay, good. Wait. Okay, yeah, he's still an RFA, that's fine. Uh, that's kind of annoying that they don't have these two guys in. Nick Haig just signed, Robertson signed a week ago. Um, other than that, there's nothing too crazy. Derek Stepan did sign, Joe Thornton hasn't signed yet. Broussard's out there. Um, Bozak, DeKaiser, Honka, James Neal, Ty Ratty, Brendan Gooley. I think Gooley did sign somewhere. Nate Thompson, Gary Laterra, Thomas Hickey, Long Island. Uh, Mark Stone just... Mark Stone? It's Mark Stone, right? It is Mark Stone. Michael Stone. <laughs> Michael Stone. Sorry, just signed yesterday with Calgary, I believe. Leo! Uh, Andres Bjorgman. Anton Roussel. There's names. Scott Kenyuk, Grimaldi. Jimmy Vesey did sign with the Rangers. Zach Ashton Reese is a Maple Leaf. So there's a lot of guys that shouldn't be on here that are on here. They're going to update their roster, so that's unfortunate. But I wanted to start this right away. Braden Holtby could sign oh we have Corey Schneider we're gonna sign Corey Schneider uh I don't think Soshnikov's in the game which is unfortunate because I would have actually used him we could look real quick but let me assign Corey Schneider since he is a New York Islander or a Bridgeport Islander yeah G give him a deal hopefully we do have Soshnikov but first things first we're gonna edit these lines real quick turn off Coaches help. We're going to run the real honor lines here. So we'll have Lee, Nelson, Beauvillier for the top line. For the second line, it's Parisi, Barzal, Palmieri. And then you got Bailey, Pedro, Walsh from the third line. And the fourth line is Martin, Sezikis over Bellows, and Cal Clutterbuck. 
So this is the starting lineup for now. We got Anders Leaves in 84. Nelson who should at least be in 86 after putting up 35 goals last year. Pavilion 82. Sure, Palmieri 81. Whatever. Barzon 88. A little generous, but I think it's a fair rating for him. Very good player. Just point production wise, Barry Trotz held him back. Zach Parise 81. Sure. Bailey 83. Pajot 82. Walsh 81. Then Clutterbuck 78. Casey 80. And Matt Martin 77. On defense, we have the PNP line, Pelican Pulak, best defensive line in the league. Both 87s, I think Pelican should be an 88. Uh, Romanov and Noah Dobson, absolutely filthy line. I think they could be the be second best, the best second line in hockey by the end of this year. We'll see how that goes. And assault, 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 get Aho out of here. Bring in Robin Salo, who is going to be starting the year on the opening night lineup with the third left-hand defenseman spot. My boy Robin Salo, Salo Soldier's coming soon. Get hyped for that. And Scotty Mayfield, who I love. Uh, yeah, I think Dobbs' rating could be a little bit higher, but 85 is fine for him. We'll look at scratches right now. Hopefully Sashnikov's here. He is not. Ross Johnston, Fellows, and Aho. And in goal, we got Ilya Sorokin. Uh, we got the Sorokin jersey on. And we got Varley. Going to the AHL in net, we're going to have Schneider and Skarrick. Skarrick's actually a pretty good young goalie. 77 overall, too. Wow. On offense, we got Otto Koivu. Oh, Sashnikov's here! All right, that's actually sick. We'll call him up. All right, we'll call up Nikita Sashnikov in a minute. But we got uh, Otto Koivu, Andy Andreoff, and Sashnikov. We'll put Holmstrom on the first line. We got Richard Ponick, who's not going to be there. Uh, Cole Bardreau. And it was Simon Holmstrom. We got Hudson Fashing, Jeff Kubiak, uh, Duran Duran, as I like to call him. We got Colin Adams, Blade Jenkins, and William Dufour, who is one of the up-and-coming New York Islander prospects so far. We're going to throw him there. I don't want to, I don't think that could fit. I don't think that would hurt him if we went like this. And then I want to get Ratu on the, yeah, Ratu definitely needs to get in there. I want to get Reese Newkirk in there, too. Throw Rot to there. All right. I mean, this team's looking pretty interesting. The AHL squad for the Islanders is better than what I kind of expected it to look like. I want Newkirk in there. I'm a big Reese Newkirk guy. Kind of like Zeke's 2.0, but not that anyone really cares. Uh, we'll throw him there. Hudson Fesh and Cole. Shout out Cole Bardrow, though. What a story. Um, Yeah, that looks good. Holmstrom, Rot to. Rot to in the... Bridgeport jersey looks nice too. On defense, we got Dennis Kulowski and Paul What It Ledu Bebe, uh, Bodie Wild, who has been sent to the Arizona Coyotes ECHL squad. We'll put uh, Nathan McKinnon's brother, obviously not in over him though, Ryan McKinnon. Grant Hutton, who was pretty good, put him there with Sam Bolduck, brother of Zachary Bolduck, and you got Seth Hodgson and Ryan McKinnon. Very we went for the goalies, scratches. Parker Wilderspear and Tristan Lennox, Matt Maggio, who is a pick this year. They have Kaylee Odilius already with Bridgeport. That's cool. Uh, Dalen Kelfer, uh, Connor McCarthy, and Kubiak. We're gonna put Kaylee Odilius in there. He was one of all. He was our second round pick this year, and he also looks pretty good. People are saying he's one of the steals of the draft. So I would much rather see him than uh, Seth Howdison play, even if he is a sixty overall. Let him cook there uh can we switch it like that damn cholo just sucks all right that's fine so we're gonna quickly call up nikita sashnikov uh we will look through the other prospects that aren't on bridgeport if we have any um no 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 cancel we're not sending matthew boys all down we are going to call up Nikita Sashnikov, though. Uh, that would take us over the limit. Who? All right, we'll get rid of... We'll get rid of Ross Johnston. I, I know this is a move. Oh, no. Uh, also, it's no waiver, so it doesn't matter. So, Ross Johnston, it's time to go blood. Uh, I don't think anything, anything really gets changed there. And let's quickly look at view contracts look at the contracts for the nhl guys 
So the only bad contracts we really have here is Anders Lee, but he's a captain at seven million. He has five years left. One, two, three, four, five. Or one, two, three, four. He has four years left, including this year. So when that contract's over, that will be a nice little cap it to be free from. Good player, but seven million's a lot for him. We'll see what he does this year in the game and in real life. Hopefully he recovers fully from his ACL or MCL injury that had him out for the year. Uh, Bailey at five. It's not it's not terrible, but two years. We're not getting rid of him. Pellick, those are two really good contracts. Dobson's contract's great. Nelson, good contract. Bavillier at four. He doesn't really do much. He could be on his way out in our GM mode by the end of the season or at the deadline. Ooh, Mayfield doesn't want to come back? Let me see if I can get Mayfield back for for three. I would really like to have Scott Mayfield back on the New York Islanders in real life. And he's not interested in talking right now. I don't care. Palmieri at five is fine for another three years. He needs to produce a little bit better, though. Parisi is a free agent. That's nothing. We got to give Walsh from new contract. We'll deal that. Ah, oh, we can deal with that right now. We can give him a nice bridge deal, maybe. Oh. Uh, all right. We'll worry about the Walsh from bridge deal. In a later episode, I just want to get the Mayfield one there done now if I can. Uh, Clutterbuck, hopefully could retire soon. But nothing too crazy outside of that. And then in goal, you got Sorokin and Varlamov. Varley could be a good trade deadline candidate. In the system, uh, I think we went over all these guys that are signed because they're in Bridgeport. On Sun, we have Isaiah George, who is a... I forget what team he's on, but he's a very good prospect for the Islanders. Uh, oh, he's on the London Knights. Okay, yeah, I thought it was London Knights. E2 Lucas, he was in the World Juniors last year and was very good. I have no clue who this kid is. Alexi Malaninen, sixth-round pick this year. Uh, don't know too much about him. Uh, Goaltending-wise, do we have anyone unsigned? Nope. That's that. So that's the entire roster. Uh, looks pretty good. We're going to win a cup year one? No, but the prospects are better than what people give them credit for, in my opinion. But they're still just prospects. Uh, I don't really know what's really new in NHL's franchise mode. It looks kind of the same. We could quickly browse trading blocks, see if there's anyone out there that could interest us. But I, like I said, I really don't want to make movies. I just want to look, see what's out there. Nathan Bellio. Bellio, sorry. Bellabo. Bellio. <laughs> we got Patrick Nemep on Arizona after they just got him. Uh, any notable names? Uh, McLaughlin's a pretty decent prospect. His value's low, too. That's interesting. But And then Lysel, too. Interesting. Uh, definitely the Fog of War has them lower than they should be, I believe. Malcolm Subban, Eric Comer, who they signed, so that makes no sense. Hinochoza, Cheyenne, and Gergensons. Connor Zari. Uh, anyone else? Jared, is it Jared Poirier or Jeremy Poirier? Yeah, Jeremy Poirier. All right. Ryan Suzuki, Nick's brother. No, no Gunler. There's some good prospects to be had on the trade block right now. Very interesting. Martin Cout. Anyone else, really? Uh, Emil Bentram, who's just on waivers in real life. Jason Robertson. Uh, Suter, Lindell, Yanni Hockenflaw, Colin Miller. I mean, Jason Robertson would be a sick move. They just signed Kopp and Perron. Why would they both be on there? And Nedeljkovic they got last year. Uh, it just makes no sense sometimes, man. Philip Broberg, Panthers, uh, Justin Sourdiff, I believe his name is. He's right now practicing on the first line for the Florida Panthers with uh, Carter Verhage injured. Kolsch. Oh, Kai Schwint. Yeah, like, didn't they trade Cole in the, uh, Hubert O'Deal? Philip Deneau, Arvin, Philip Deneau, good little player. Arvinson, I follow, Edler in a third. Minnesota, just picks. Montreal, Byron and Armia. Nashville picks. New Jersey, Sevo, Palat, who they just signed. Sick game. Hall of Tatar. Rangers, Matthew Robertson, Hunter Skinner, I believe. Hunter Skinner. Uh, Lindbaum, don't know who that is. Ottawa, Formentin, and Austin Watson. Philly, Justin Braun, and Ded Gendron. Owen Pickering, who they just picked this year. Um, interesting. Matt Nieto for the Sharks. Seattle Grubauer. <laughs> That's sick. 
Tanev with the uh, the famous picture, Don Skoy, Michael Kempney, Noel Chari. Anyone notable for Tampa? No. Toronto? No. Is that... I don't think that's the guy with the heart issues. I forget who that was for them, but hope he's doing good. Tucker Pullman, Vegas, Nick Hag, but and Logan Thompson, interesting. Washington, Oshi, Mojo, and Lars Eller, Connor Sheary, and also uh, Schneidel. I think he was one of their top prospects, and no one there. So that's the trading block. Everything looks about the same from last year's game. Just new faces, new overalls. Um, anything different over there? No, not really. All right, so let's sim preseason, and we'll call episode one there. Doing a little roster review, like I said, and we will start up. So let's get through these preseason games. Uh, Mayfield for a sixth, seventh, and Henry shows up. Yeah, not happening, buddy. Heponiemi in a third for Mayfield in a fourth. Let me get Mayfield off the trading block. Uh, yeah, definitely get him, take all these guys off. We'll leave Varley for now, but definitely Mayfield, Mayfield should be off. Oh, Mayfield stays. And Corey Schneider's not coming. All right, um, we're not getting rid of Mayfield. So we did re-sign Scott Mayfield. I could have made a title out of that, but uh, we won't. Scott Mayfield stays. It's also a third-line defense, and so I don't think people are going to be too moved by it. But I'm very happy. Very happy that Scott Mayfield will be staying in my video game. And here we are. Preseason's over. Waivers are in effect now, and we're 2-4-1. and one. We'll go to game numero uno, and that's where we'll end the video. I don't want to make it too long. Just an intro for the series. But... There's that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace out, everyone. Have a good one.